Hey guys, welcome back to No Kitchen Name. It's me, Ella. I'm going to be doing days 23, 24, and 25 of my Advent Swap all right now. But I'm going to split it into three videos anyways, one for each day. But I know I'm not going to have the time over the next few days to get this done just because of Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We're going to be busy and um, I'm probably going to have a lot of time to sit down and record. But I'm going to have videos popping up on each of those days because I'm going to pre-record them. So today I'm going to do the 23rd and then I'm also going to do the 24th and 25th just in separate video clips. But I wanted to say that because I'm going to be wearing the same shirt and in the same um, camera position. <laughs> um, just because I know we're going to be busy the next few days. But anyway, so here's number 23. And we're going to open it. Whoops, I'm going to take the number off. I'm take that number off so I don't accidentally throw it away. This is one of those meat smishers that I've been wanting forever. Oh my gosh. It's one of those meat tear aparters. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Mix and chop. It's a mix and chop. Pembroke Chef also. Let's see what it says. I always love reading that little um this got recipes on it. Let's see here. Exclusive mi mix and chop allows you to chop food directly in your cookware while cooking. Five curved blades easily create consistent sized crumbles, helping to shorten cook time and evenly distribute seasoning seasonings. Mix and chop is a must for ground beef or turkey, scrambled eggs, and homemade tomato sauce. <laughs> also a handy tool for chopping and mixing frozen fruit and fruit juice concentrates. Nylon head is heat safe to 428 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius and won't scratch non-stick surfaces. Wash and they say wash prior to first use. Duh. They aren't you supposed to do with everything? <laughs> dishwasher safe on top rack. I'm probably not going to put this in dishwasher. I'll hand wash this. Uh, due to the soft nature of the handle, do not place heavy or sharp items on the handle. Okay. Uh, place thawed food in cookware. Grasp handle. Gently push downward into the food and twist. <laughs> Repeat motion throughout cooking. I have seen people use these. I've been wanting one of these forever. And they don't have any of these at Walmart because I looked. Five year guaranteed for non-commercial use. <laughs> Refer to sales receipt for details. Safeguard, do not leave mix and chop in pan while burner is on. And it's got some recipes. Mexican Fiesta salad pizza. Pizza, wait, this is in French. I'm on the wrong side. How did I read that? It's all those words, all the right words. <laughs> okay, Mexican Fiesta Salad Pizza. Uh, pizza, um, this is a different language too. Am I an idiot or am I not reading these right? They're like in French and Spanish. Pizza Salad Fiesta Mexican. Pizza y es Salada Para Fiesta Mexicana. It's the same thing, isn't it? Over and over again. That's what it is. I'm an idiot. This is English. This is... Spanish. No, this is Spanish. That's probably French. That's French. One of these other ones. Oh, it's the back side. <laughs> I'm a doofus. That's okay. Anyways, there's that. And my mix and chop. Oh my gosh. I don't want one of these forever. I see them on, I watch a lot of cooking channels and like what, uh, what's for dinner videos. And they always have one of these. And I have one. Mm, I'm so excited. Okay. Yarn bowl. Hmm. Looks like it might be variegated. It is. I know what color this is too. This is Red Heart Super Saver Bon Bon. I had some of that. I don't know if I still do. I don't see it. <laughs> but um, I love this color. I've been getting a lot of variegated in the row. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see. So now so I don't mix them up since I'm going to open all these the next day. Next today. I'm going to put the little thing on there. And wrap it around. Alright, so that was day 23. Cut bonbon bon in a mix and chop. 